היי, איצי יפתח. פלאפס is a state of the art max for live loudness meter designed for both real time and offline analysis. It's fully accessible to blind, visually impaired and sighted users. פלאפס can analyze multi-channel audio files, normalize to loudness target, and if you're into data science like me, it can export loudness data to CSV file, either in single or batch mode. פלאפס is very light on the CPU, to the extent that you won't really notice it on modern computers. It comes with 11 color themes, including options designed for color blindness and low vision. It features a nice resizable floating window and integrates seamlessly with popular screen readers like VoiceOver and NVDA, making it compatible with braille displays and other assistive technology. Every feature is accessible via keyboard shortcuts or tabbing. In this video, I'll mention some of the shortcuts as I introduce the features and at the end of this video, I'll go over the full list. Fluffs is available as a free or paid download. Both identical. It's simply about making it available to everyone, regardless of their ability to support my work. I would like to thank Tim Burgess, accessibility consultant from Raised Bar, for his invaluable advice and generosity in sharing his expertise on making audio technology truly accessible. Loudness metering measures perceived loudness over time rather than just peak levels. Following standards like the ITU RBS1770 and LUFS, which stands for Loudness Unit Relative to Full Scale. Unlike traditional meters that focus on peak or RMS levels, loudness meters account for the human ear's sensitivity to different frequencies and time integration. This results in more accurate and consistent level across media. Once the device is loaded, usually on the main track, you can press shift Control v if you're using a screen reader to turn on narration and keyboard shortcuts. Otherwise, click the symbol to open the floating window. Fluffs has two modes, real-time and offline mode. To switch between them, press D or click the mode selector. Real-time mode lets you monitor the following. Momentary, which is instant loudness changes, press Shift plus 1 to listen. Short-term, which measures across a longer time window, press Shift plus 2 to listen. Integrated, which is the average loudness over the whole track, press Shift plus 3 to listen. True peak, which measures the highest peaks even between samples, press Shift plus 4 to listen, and Loudness range, which measures how much loudness changes over time, ignoring very quiet parts for a clearer representation, press Shift plus 5 to listen. To reset the real-time meters, double-click anywhere on the meter area or use the key E for LUFS reset and Shift plus E for True Peak reset. You can select the target loudness level from the target menu or browse through the options using the left and right angle bracket keys, also known as less than and greater than. The target consists of integrated level, tolerance, and true peak values. Fluffs includes 19 industry standards loudness presets. You can also create a custom target by editing the custom preset. To adjust it with the keyboard, press Shift plus 9 to cycle through the parameters and then use the comma and dot keys to decrease or increase the value. Offline mode lets you import audio files and analyze them. Fluff supports multi-channel audio up to five channel audio files. To import an audio file, press the letter F or click on the open button. Alternatively, you can just drop a file anywhere on the plot area. Fluffs analyzes super fast. It needs about one or two seconds to analyze a five minute audio file. After the analysis is done, you can normalize the audio to the selected target level by pressing the letter N or clicking on the Normalize button. This will bring the level as close as possible to the target with respect to the true peak constraint, so unlike compression, it's not going to change the dynamic range. To save the file, press the letter G or click the Save button. Fluffs also let you export a CSV file of the loudness values for further inspection or for data science purposes. To do so, press the letter W or click the Export CSV button. This can also be done in a batch, which is very useful for dataset building purposes. If you are using the UI, click the Batch button, select the source and the target folder and then press Start. To do this using the keyboard shortcuts, press Shift plus F to select the source folder, Shift plus G to select the target folder and Shift plus W to start the process. Over the past few months, I've learned a lot about accessibility and it's something I'm fully committed to. My goal is to make every device I release as accessible as possible. To support accessibility in Max for Live, I've developed a collection of Max MSP externals called Maxes. These externals enable screen reader integration, global keyboard reading and more. 
I hope this collection will encourage and assist other Max for Life developers in making their devices accessible. I'm going to release this very soon, so stay tuned. Keyboard Shortcut Overview Shift Control V Toggle Narration and Keyboard Shortcuts Escape Cancel or Stop Speaking Shift Control 6 Keyboard Shortcut Overview D Operation Mode Shift Plus 1 Momentary LUFS Shift Plus 2 Short Term LUFS Shift Plus 3 Integrated LUFS Shift Plus 4 True Peak Shift plus 5, loudness range. E, real time LUFS meter reset. Shift plus E, real time true peak meter reset. T, current loudness target. Right angle bracket aka greater than, browse next target. Left angle bracket aka less than, browse previous target. Shift plus 9, Cycle between editing custom target values of integrated, tolerance, and true peak. Comma. Decrease value. Dot. Increase value. F. Open file in offline mode. I. File details. G. Save file in offline mode. W. Export CSV in offline mode. N. Normalize to loudness target in offline mode. Shift plus F. Select Batch Source Folder in Offline Mode Shift plus G Select Batch Target Folder in Offline Mode Shift plus W Start CSV Batch Conversion in Offline Mode P Play or stop the currently loaded sample in Offline Mode Shift plus P Reset the playhead of the currently playing sample in Offline Mode Shift Ctrl L Nudge the playhead forward Shift Ctrl K Nudge the playhead backwards 